Hey everyone, welcome back to Spoon FPV. So if you're like me, you probably just flashed uh, Betaflight 3.2, the release candidate, and you're screwing with it, and you're figuring, and you're looking at it, and you're saying, what is this Pro Shot? Um, and I wanted to know, so I borrowed some equipment from work, um, some lab equipment. This is an oscilloscope. It shows the physical signal that goes to the ESCs from the flight controller. Um, and basically, I can deconstruct the signal that comes out of there um, in a more visual way than just looking through the code. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about ProShot, and we're going to compare it to the different versions of D-Shot and Multi-Shot and some of the other uh, protocols. If you, if you have a question about um, other motor protocols and timing and why it's important, I have uh, another video which I'll link into there, and, and I'll put it in the description as well. But uh, let's not talk about it. Let's get into it, and let's show you it. All right, so before we get into more advanced uh, motor protocols, let's talk about all of the analog ones, which are PWM, OneShot, 125, OneShot 42, MultiShot. Those are all uh, analog uh, motor uh, control signals. And basically the way that those work is, let me go into clean plate here in the motors tab. Um, and basically I'm just going to raise the throttle on this one so you can see what happens. And that's what most of these tests I'm going to show you with is. So what happens is, so that would be zero throttle. As I raise the throttle, you can see the width of the signal um, gets wider and wider. And basically what the, the ESC looks at is how wide is that pulse. And um, you, need, you need a pulse for timing, right? So the minimum width is that. Um, and then it looks at how much wider it is than the minimum width for um, and then determines how much motor speed you want and then there's the number of steps that you get on each one of these which is the resolution so this is multi-shot it is the um, narrowest pulse width of all of the analog signals that we have and it goes the minimum width is five microseconds which is like at zero throttle which is where most people aren't flying and then uh, when you get up to about um, 1300 on the on the motor request which the motors are generally over that you're starting to get into the the D shot 1200 uh, speed range and um, the the pro shot speed range so um, now that you understand that we can talk about uh, D shot and uh, pro shot but first I, the other thing that I want to show on this is uh, synced versus unsynced so right now I'm gonna zoom out so you can see um, every I don't know if, if that's clear um, in the, yeah, it is. Okay, so you can see how uh, this is the pulse width for the ESC. And you can see how they're slide, they're jumping back and forth. Um, that is the, the other pulses jump back and forth. That is um, every PID cycle, uh, it sends a new pulse, but the PID cycles aren't um, exactly timed. So because of that, you get this, uh, pulse happening at different times, which is which is really good because it happens right after the PID loop completes, it sends a pulse to the ESCs. Now there's another thing in the configuration tab where you can run um, the motor PWM speed, separate it from the PWM frequency. Hey, this is me from the future. I, I, I went on a tangent here about synced versus unsynced, but basically the, the short of it is you should run your motors synced with your PID loop because it reduces the latency. All right, now I'm gonna put some images up from the oscilloscope. And the important things to look at here are this number right here, which is the divisions, which uh, is how wide these steps are. That's basically how much I'm zoomed into the image. Uh, and this is, so from this we can see how long the pulse width is. It's also written down here, but basically we have, um, this is, 500 microseconds a division, so that's 500, 1,000, uh, 1,500, 2,000, and that's how wide this pulse is. And this is PWM at 2,000 steps. And that's the the simplest one to understand because we're talking. That's that's why you go from 1,000 to 2,000 when you're when you're on your PWM motor protocol. This is the same zoom level of the one shot 125 at its widest, which is the 2,000 steps. And 125 actually refers to how wide it is um, when it's at its narrowest, which is 125 uh, microseconds. So this is, you can see the width is 250 U seconds down here. Um, so that's what one shot 125 looks like. And I wanted to keep everything at the same zoom, but then I realized this is D shot 1200 at the same zoom level. You can't see any of it. So I'm going to go to the next slide. And up top here we have what I. Uh, what what we just saw, and then this is a zoomed in version of it. So D shot 1200, we have 
are 16 bits and then this is D shot at you know 1005 and I put some cursors up here that I was measuring the distance right because basically what I did was measure the the longest pulse of any of the the digital ones it's 13.12 microseconds for D shot 1200 and the way that it encodes it is like 0 0 0 0 and then these are ones 1 1 1 0, zero. so that that turns into a digital signal uh, which the ESC converts to uh, in this case 1005 and then this is ProShot 1000 at a um, what was it at a thousand so yeah, and the zoom level on this one and the other one are the same uh, between the so this is D shot twelve hundred again. This is the pro shot, right? So uh, you know the total total length on these is is, is about the same. Uh, D shot twelve hundred is slightly shorter. So this is pro shot at nineteen thirty six, and what it's doing is as as um, so this one's you know semi analog because like the width of this one gets wider and wider as the uh, uh, the data comes in these also get wider at multiple steps and then these are like kind of a, a checksum oh my phone's going off perfect but these work as kind of a checksum of these two uh, I don't know it's I, I'm not sold on this it basically because the I'm gonna show you the next one we have uh, this is the same thing at 2000 and I'll jump back and forth between them you can see that there's like a th there is a difference between these my phone's going off okay where was I so I'm gonna jump back and forth between these two and you can see there is some difference between them but the um, the width difference between you know this section in the the last one and in between these is like 0.13 microseconds or 133 130 nanoseconds and I think that a misread is far more likely on ProShot than on the DShot protocol and uh, the misread is going to be you know you know 60 some steps of resolution so I, I think that you have a a chance of your motors getting a lot hotter uh, with pro shot and more misreads and I think D shot is 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 you know pro shot was a good idea when before D shot 1200 came out um, it you know you you have a uh, you're only catching four pulses it should be uh, less work for your um, uh, for your micro processor basically like older stuff should work on pro should be made able to make made work at a fast speed on pro shot but you know now all the flight controllers are, are supporting uh, the D shot protocol and the DMA and everything else that's required to run it so it, this would have been a good idea you know this would have been really revolutionary uh, six eight months ago but now that uh, everybody's pretty much supporting D shot I, I don't see a reason to use uh, pro shot uh, and again the, the misread is I think it's far more likely on this than on uh, than on D shot but uh, this and keep in mind this this doesn't tell the whole story this is your speed in kilohertz um, of the different protocols so D shot 1200 is the fastest here at the the 76.2 kilohertz uh, and then pro shot is 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 also pretty fast but you can see they kind of like uh, fall off now multi shot is in the is is slightly faster than D shot 600 and this is where I'm talking about it doesn't tell the entire story because D shot 600 has um, 20 48 steps of resolution multi shot only has 250 uh, so I still think that D shot 600 is better than multi shot but if you're relegated any of these run multi shot if you have to run any of these down here the the D shot one shot one, one the, run multi shot if you can't if you if you're if you don't support D shot um, and then the reason that you have these uh, segments out here is because uh, your the the analog motor protocol the ESC can't uh, act until it sees uh, let me go back to one of these analog ones so the ESC can't respond until it sees this uh, waterfall drop off so you know input pulse and then it's waiting for how long is this and then it sees it drop off and it's like okay I know what you want and then it, it goes and does that so, uh, and because these vary in width, uh, based on uh, to to tell the ESC what it does, it has to wait until the waterfall drops off. So that's why we have uh, the different um, 
the different lengths uh, for the speed. So multi shot is capable of you know at the longest the the longest which is two thousand that's full throttle is uh, thirty uh, thirty eight kilohertz. And then the shortest, which is a no throttle, is 196 kilohertz. Now, oh boy, here's where we get into the weeds. Uh, I think that multi-shot could still can. So, for the most part, you your throttle is is very high anyhow, right? And so your motors are in the you know the 1500 to 2000 range most of the time when you're flying or at least mine are when I'm racing and the, I think the racing guys are the ones that care the most about uh, the protocol I think that multi-shot could still be a viable protocol in the future if uh, the designers decided to invert the signal and by that I mean uh, so no throttle would be the maximum pulse width and uh, full throttle would be the minimum pulse width and I think so now you're running like really really fast in the top end and you're running really really slow or, or you're running at the at the 39.8 kilohertz in the uh, you know when you're when you're telling the ESC to do nothing uh, so I maybe that'll come in the future. Maybe Boris will watch my videos. Maybe somebody that knows will watch my videos. But I think if multi shot got inverted, it could potentially like be better than pro shot or D shot. Um, that's that's just my opinion. And then, like I said, it doesn't tell the full story. So resolution is the other part of the equation, which is why. Uh, you know, multi-shot kind of like takes the backseat to some of these digital protocols as well. So you get, you know, 2048 steps with ProShot and DShot, um, which allows you to do things like you could run 3D motors and still, because your ESC is only putting out, or your flight control is only putting out from 1,000 to 2,000, um, I think. Don't don't take me a gospel, but I'm I'm pretty sure that's what it, the, the way that it, it works when it, it does the motor output. It doesn't do like you know a thousand and a half. It does a thousand, one thousand one. Um, so you can still run 3D and still get full um, uh, full resolution to the ESC of what the flight controller wants to put out. Um, but with multi shot, you're only getting like I don't know if anybody's been in the motor tab where you click up and you have to click like a few times. Um, and to get the motors to spin up to the next level, you click like five, six times, and it goes bing, bing, bing. You know, so like there's like these these jumps, um, which doesn't happen in these digital protocols. Hey everybody, well thanks for watching. I hope that this uh, has cleared it up for you about what protocols and how they work. And if and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, I read all your comments, and don't forget to hit that like button. That helps other people find this video. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button. I have uh, lots of lots of videos like this. I try and put out as many as I can uh, in my spare time. And I enjoy doing it for you because it seems like you enjoy watching it. So, um, thank you.